What is the most overlooked cleaning task for Airstreamers and RVers alike? 99.9999999% of RVers don't do it. And that is coming from a sample size of two. Being one, two, and two. Sam and Lauren from A Little Bit of Hitched. It's really good to be here. And today we are going to be talking about the importance of maintaining your RV electrical connections. Now this one is a bit personal to us because this is exactly what our power cord looked like at the end of last summer. So if we only paid a little bit of attention to our short power cord, we could have prevented this from happening. And that's why we're here today so that you can learn from our power cord mistakes. So where do we start? Well, first go do yourself a favor and use the supplies provided by air gear and their maintenance essentials kit. Included in this kit is everything that you need to properly maintain your electrical connections on your Airstream. Deoxit, a brass brush, a burnishing tool and dielectric grease. We'll get into how and why to apply each of these in a moment. Once this handy kit is acquired, go and check your cords. Maybe you notice some heat coming from the cord itself when running your AC all day, or let's say you go to plug in your Airstream into your tow vehicle, only to find that the tow lights don't work. Well, you may have a dirty connection. A few things that you should be looking for in addition to the two things that we just talked about, if you notice a black or brown discoloration on your shore power plugs, that's something that could be a sign of oxidation. Sometimes it can be an orange or green color. So they're just something to pay attention to. Also inspect for signs of burnt plastic on both your shore power cord and the receptacle itself, because this can be a sign of a previous or current poor electrical connection. Dirt, corrosion, bent plugs, or improperly connected plugs can all lead to an inefficient circuit, leading to the production of heat. And this can turn south pretty quickly and be very dangerous and lead to some very expensive repairs. Ideally, we want a shiny brass color as seen here. And to help keep it this way, you want to try to clean your cords at least one to two times a year. Since Sam and I live in our Airstream travel trailer full time, we try to clean our cords at least two times a year. But if you are just taking your trailer out on weekend getaways, it may be a good idea that every year when you dewinterize your trailer, you just make it a goal to clean your cords then. Start with the deoxit provided in the air gear maintenance kit, which is a cleaner that helps get oxidation off your metal connection. Then use the provided burnishing tool on the brass brush to help remove any oxidation. All you really need is about one drop of the deoxid on the file and you can easily get in there and scrub any oxidation away. The great thing about the burnishing tool is that it's small enough to get into those smaller spaces such as on the seven weight cord, making this a really simple cleaning task to perform. Once these are looking shiny and clean, you can go ahead and apply dielectric grease to help keep the connections working at their best. The kit also comes equipped with a guide to help explain exactly how to use all of the above in case you need a quick reminder. We recommend every time you go to plug in a cord, whether that is your seven way from the trailer to the tow vehicle, or you're going to hook up to your shore power connection, just take a second to look at the cord and if it needs a touch up, just do it. It's time for a story. We are in the midst of a 5,000 mile road trip. We were taking the Airstream. We're going to a bunch of national parks across the country. And we found out that periodically our seven way cord would have a poor connection. Sometimes they'd be working, sometimes they wouldn't be working. At one period, only the left tail light was working, neither blinkers were working, and that was very dangerous. Nothing worse than driving through downtown Atlanta with no blinkers and you think you're putting it on and you're getting honked at and you're like, wait, what's going on here? I put my blinker on and they it's very dangerous. Don't get in that game. Mm -hmm. And since we have been cleaning our cords, we have not dealt with this issue since. And this was something that when we were traveling across the country, I kid you not, every time we went to hook up the trailer to the tow vehicle, it was something we were checking and we were constantly having to pull over and check the cord and put the cord back in and then check and make sure that it was working. And it was just the amount of time we spent checking to make sure that our blinkers and lights were working appropriately. I mean, think of all the other great things we could have seen. So to sum it all up, all of this can be found in your air gear maintenance essentials kit, which is definitely something you should get and have handy because life is going to throw you lemons or dirty cords. So keep those cords clean people and happy trails. Happy trails. <laughs>